So as we get started, the mini pathways to boating, we have Ali Hawkins and Lisa Chapin. Uh, Lisa's was Sail Time, a local club membership, and she'll will introduce her shortly so she could give a background of herself and her club. And then we also have Ali Hawkins with us in the studio. She is the uh, part owner of Baylight's Charters Gaslight, a 72 foot skeiner, schooner that could take about 49 people. So, Lisa, can you give us a little bit of your background? Hi, I'm Captain Lisa with Sail Time San Francisco. And what um, the topic uh, is really I'm passionate about today is because there's so many different ways to get out on the water. You can buy a boat, you can charter a boat, you can join a club like Sail Time. You can, there's community groups that you, where you can uh, sail um, like uh, Cal Sailing Club. And I think that there's a lot of people that want to learn about all the different ways that you can get into boating. And I'd like to uh, review a lot of those different ways. And even um, as we introduce ourselves, maybe explain how we got into boating and how we learned to sail different boats. Because I didn't just go from, you know, not sailing at all to sailing big boats or living on a big power boat. I mean, it was a pathway. And I think it's really important to look at all the different steps that people take along the way to get where they are. And um, they're usually pretty fun stories along the way too. You're right, Lisa. We were talking a lot about that the last couple of days, how you prepare to, uh, with smaller boats and it's a progression. So you can't just wake up in the morning and say, oh, I'm going to have a big boat <laughs> or I'm going to buy have a fleet of boats and take people out. So you need to be trained, experienced, captain. Um, so I'm excited to hear about more of your pro program and share with others. And right, Allie, you. can you introduce yourself and talk a little bit about Bay Lakes Charters? Sure. I'm Allie Hawkins, and I'm one of three owners of Baylight's Charters. We have a 72-foot schooner, Gaslight. She's a tall ship replica. We can pick up out of Sausalito, San Francisco, or uh, Raina Bay, Richmond. Um, it's a great boat to have a group of people out. She sails super flat and is just a ball for people to come aboard. Um, I've been sailing about 25 plus years. I've owned power boats and sailboats and don't really care the vehicle as long as I can get out on the water. Um, I think it's the closest I can get to God and um, just love sharing my passion with people aboard a boat. Thank you, Ellie. And you both have very different programs. Lisa, how long have you been in, in sailing? I learned to sail with my father and our Rhodesian Ridgeback on a um, tiny little boat in the Atlantic Ocean. And it was a uh, sunfish that we would keep on the beach. And then I got into racing on um, catamarans, small catamarans. Um, and I had a, the biggest one I had was a NACRA 60. And we'd race on our beach a lot, but we'd also take it and race from Miami to Key Largo once a year. That was super fun. And then as I got older, I started to long to sail bigger monohulls, and I did that for many years. And I had joined Sail Time in Austin, Texas, which is quite hilarious now that I am the owner of Sail Time San Francisco. I took a couple of years off and went cruising and sailed halfway around the world, including to the Galapagos, and uh, it was just wonderful. And then I got my captain's license, and I came uh, to San Francisco, and I serendipitously uh, fell into buying um, sail time from the previous owner. We've been in the Bay Area for 16 years and I've owned it for 11. I have a 50 ton master's license. I work as a boat broker. I live aboard. I mean, I'm really all boats and uh, I absolutely love it. And one of the things I really love to do is help people find their way. And I'm always willing to lend my knowledge of the marine industry, whether it's about you know, um, bottom cleaning or electrical systems or where to anchor. Um, I can't tell you a great restaurant to go to in San Francisco, but I can tell you the best place to anchor and what to make on the grill. So there you go. That's great. And so you mentioned the sale time in Texas. How many locations do you have? Um, sale time are all individually owned franchises. We currently have 50 bases worldwide and in sale time in San Francisco, what we sell rather than a charter fleet is a membership on a specific boat. I would compare it to um, timeshare, but you don't have to worry about buying it. 
So I'd say it's more like a lease or a annual ski pass where you buy a um, membership in a specific boat for the year and you sail it like it was your own boat. And our boats, even during COVID-19, since they're not shared, um, they our members are still out sailing and um, practicing social distancing on their boat and sailing with the people that they live with. And um, some of the members live farther away, so they haven't wanted to drive that far, but there's a lot of members who view sailing as their therapy and have had a great time doing it. So um, we're very different than a charter fleet, which is why it's important to sort of um, research a lot as you're making decisions about um, different programs. So how many boats do you have in your fleet here, here in the Bay Area? We currently have seven. We have two locations. We have Emory Cove Marina, where we have four of them. And then we have three over at Pier 39 in the city. And one thing that we do that's really cool is we teach custom private lessons on the boat that you join. So we don't teach on little boats and expect you to learn on bigger boats. Most of our members have come with um, smaller boat experiences. So this is their um, step up into bigger boats. And our boat sizes range from 31 to 41 at, uh, currently. Oh, 31 to 41. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Alan. <laughs> so can you talk about the events and the different type of venues that you have on Gaslight? Sure, sure, I'd love to. Um, so it's intimate gatherings and private charters. So you would charter the boat and bring your group. So we do a lot of team building where you can be an active participant in raising the sails or taking the helm. Uh, we do weddings and weddings include uh, bachelor bachelorettes, the rehearsals, the actual wedding, or maybe a sail the morning after the wedding. It's just a really great venue for people to gather, have time. It's one of the few places left where people don't spend their whole time on their phones. We've noticed that they'll pick up the phone, take a photo, and then chat with the person next to them. And there's nature all around. So it's just a really awesome way to spend an afternoon. Um, we also do private birthday parties or um, any kind of celebration, really. Um, we do a lot of community um, events where like as soon as COVID is lifted, we're going to invite doctors and nurses and that kind of thing out as well. So we really like to be an active participation in the community and just expose people to getting out on the bay. That's a great initiative because the healthcare doctors and nurses are putting themselves on the front line every day. So it's great that you're able to give back to the community in that manner. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, and it's fresh air. So you don't really have to worry about being in a tight enclosed space. And Gaslight's really unique in the fact that she's an open concept. So as you go down um, into the main cabin, there's no walls separating it. You can pit, fit 49 people down below. It has a big, long mahogany table that you can um, grab food or sit down. There's a full bar. So you, you can have 49 people down below or you can have everybody up on deck. So she's really unique in that way. And if I understand, you just purchased another boat as well. Well, we didn't purchase it, but we're about to put a hundred foot mega yacht. And when I say mega yacht, she is something else. She is so beautiful. Um, and she's a fishing vessel as well as a touring vessel. She can do overnights for six people. Um, actually, it's a one-off boat, which means she's a custom boat. And the DuPont family had it made and it was President Bush Sr.'s private mm -hmm. fishing vessel. So she's just stunning, like a huge um, jacuzzi bathtub. The galley is all just stunning, state of the art, fantastic. So we're hoping to get her online um, later, later, probably summer time, um, still working on a couple documentation things, but she'll be a great for maximum group of 12 and there's um, outboats so you can take her up to Napa and or go fishing. There's all kinds of fun stuff we can do with that boat. So stay tuned. That sounds great. I, I want to tour that boat. Yeah, she's awesome. <laughs> so Lisa, so where we can find information about the, the sale time, how to join, what the reciprocal memberships are? Sure. You can visit our website. It's really easy. It's uh, www.saletime.com. Um, one of my favorite things that I love to do is meet with people on the boat, either um, 
Currently, we're doing it with FaceTime videos to show them the boats or just to sit down and talk with your um, with a couple or with a family, with a father and son, um, and really explain um, what we do and let them ask the questions. My favorite thing to do is to learn where people want to go and what they want to do. So, um, for example, I had a 45 minute call yesterday with a gentleman who said, I'm 52 years old. I want to, which is how old I am. <laughs> and uh, he said, I want to get into sailing. I've something I've always wanted to do and my retirement's coming up and I don't want to retire and be boring. So it's something I want to learn now. And his wife wasn't on the fence about it. But when I learned that she likes to go camping, I, I really explained to him how boating and camping are similar, but you get uh, a full galley and your own bathroom, which is great and better than camping. <laughs> and so um, we had a, and nice a better time. mattress too. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, we had a nice long chat about how that works. So I think the best thing to do is to, um, uh, when I meet with people, generally they're very early days of thinking about boating. And I call the people that join sail time, the prudent dreamers. So there are people that say, I really, like I see those boats out there, like on the chart above me, or they're driving to work or from their office. And they're like, I want to go do that but they're smart enough to know that they'll have a great experience if they learn how. They don't just you know, go buy a boat and throw a caution to the wind and just you know, let the chips fall where they may. They say, I wanna do this safely. I want my family to be comfortable and safe. I wanna learn how to do it. I know that there's rules that I need to learn, uh, rules of the road and you know, anchoring and all those skills. And so with our lessons, and uh, it's been fantastic. Um, we've had one insurance claim in 16 years. I think that's super impressive that our boats are out sailing all over the place with multiple members at a time. And um, I'm very impressed with the um, places our members, they join sail time. Sometimes they go on to buy boats. Sometimes they stay sail time members for a long time. Some of them have circumnavigated now. Some of them have bought boats and sailed from Mexico to Turkey. I mean, really cool stories. And I'm so proud of all of them and how they've been able to uh, chase their dreams. And I like being a part of that. It makes me very happy. That's awesome. It's always great when you can see dreams come true. That's one of the things I enjoy about bringing sales, being in sales, because people are looking for that boat. A lot of times yeah. it's their first boat. Mm -hmm. And so they had this dream for quite a while. We're seeing with the COVID-19 that people are wanting to realize that dream sooner rather than later. They're yeah. at home, they're looking online. It's like, oh, why don't I get a boat? So it's nice to be able to help people bring those dreams to life. Great, I agree. Yeah. So for those of you who just joined, we are discussing the many pathways to boating. We have Lisa Chapin with us from Sail Time and Allie Hawkins from Gaslight or Baylight's Charters. Do we have any questions? from our viewers. One of the questions is, how do I skipper one of your boats? Lisa? Um, we do custom lessons. Our insurance requirements require that we have certifications from either ASA or US Sailing. And once we get through that program, we do boat systems and um, then our members are able to take out the boat. So instead of just day rental, it's a longer commitment than that. Um, so we have a training protocol to go through. Um, but once we get through that, you take out the boats by yourself. Um, you know, we make sure that you're safe and happy and that um, our boats are safe and happy. And that's the, that's the winning combination. So if somebody wanted to use their own boat and participate in sail time, is that possible? We um, only take in brand new boats so that our boats are fairly uniform for our members to be able to use. And so we don't take in um, people's boats for our program. So we're different than say, um, you know, like the peer-to-peer -peer rental programs um, or even um, some of the charter fleets. We're not a day charter uh, company. We're very different that way. I like to call us the alternative to boat ownership. Mm -hmm. That's great. And it makes it affordable for others as well. Yep. If you think about joining sale time as somewhere between six and $15,000 a year, it's a great way to um, uh, give it a test for a year to see if you like it. And that decision, if the money works right for people and the time is right for people, it should be a fairly easy decision. Like, heck yeah, let's do this. That's great. And then, so you talked earlier, Lisa, about the reciprocal. So if 
I were to be a member of Cell Time here in San Francisco, and I was going to Mexico. How about San Diego? San Diego. So how would I get in touch <laughs> with San Diego? In San Diego. So our Sailthon bases are mostly where people live um, and work. So we're not really in the charter market like you would have with like Moorings or Sunsail or someone like that that are in the Caribbean. Our locations are generally in people's backyards. So we're in San Diego, Marina del Rey, Newport Beach, um, Channel Islands, Miami, Annapolis, Chicago, um, you know, Baltimore, uh, Virginia Beach. So we're in locations that are in people's backyards. And so if you were on a business trip or going to a wedding or visiting some family in San Diego, you could take out a sail time boat there as long as you have um, the correct certification, which is bare boat charter from either ASA or US Sailing. Um, it's a flat rate fee somewhere between $150 and $300 for the day. Super awesome. easy. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Some bases, now you have to remember just as a caveat, some bases have different conditions. So if you're a member of a 31 foot boat in um, an area that has really low winds and you want to skipper a boat in San Francisco Bay in the middle of summer and you want our 41 foot boat, we might uh, have you go with a, a, a captain. <laughs> but other than that, like it's all about, um, you know, conditions and where you are and what your skill set are. And similar to Allie's program, if you're on Allie's boat, you have a captain so that you could have a cocktail or you could um, actually have fun instead of having to be in charge of the boat. So that's one of the benefits of hiring a skip a captain on any situation. So if you want to be able to, you know, enjoy your birthday and not be in charge of the boat, um, you can always hire a captain, whether it's on any kind of charter boat. And I think that's a fantastic thing. So right, um, that's a good point. I didn't realize you could do that with sail time. Yep. So it's, we can do we can do captain charters for the day. That's great. Mm -hmm. And Ali, can you tell us some of the what's the best charter that you've had? Oh gosh, that's so hard. Um, the, each one is special in their own way. You can think of, of course, the wedding. I think those are so fun. Captain Steve, one of the owners, does an actual ceremony for the couple where he has them tie a knot, a Celtic heart knot, during the ceremony. So it's a takeaway that they can keep as a keepsake, but it's just really um, intimate and personal, uninterrupted, surrounded by nature. Uh, we were out on a different charter with a team building group and there was a whale in the bay. And that was of course, so exciting and fun. Um, gosh, we did sun, so many sunset sales last year where the sun comes up and the city comes aglow. It's just magic out there. So there's really no bad time of year, no bad, time of day, anytime you can get out there. The city is just magic and it's just a whole different perspective from the water. So could you talk a little about gaslight? I know people when they're renting a sailboat and they're new to sailing, they get a little timid. They think we're worried about healing in the wind. What's that experience like for, for the new sailor? Yeah, so a lot of people are nervous about seasickness and Gaslight is really, truly special in this respect that she's a flat bottom boat. First of all, she's 72 feet, so she's really large um, and a 19 foot beam. So there's plenty of space to move about, but she's flat, so she sails flat. So even in big winds, you can put your glass of wine on the deck and it won't move. So the trick to being not being seasick is being able to see the horizon. And because you're not going down a big rung of ladder to get down to the um, cabin below, you can, most people can see out the windows and so you can keep your eye on the horizon. And um, she's just really roomy and warm. We call the down below cabin a, a speakeasy kind of space because it's just, it gives you a big hug. It's really, it's really a fun place to be. There's all these um, couches that line that line the boat, so you can lounge. People kind of tend to mingle, and so you spend a few hours up above and then go down below. And so you, you really, it's a special, special place. And being a tall ship replica and a scow schooner, which were the semi trucks of the day here in San Francisco, at the height of the gold rush, there's about 600 of them. And there's only a couple of us left. So it, there's so much history and so 
um, important to the history of San Francisco. So you, you're out in these massive sales and everything is manual. So our guests are welcome to join and help putting up the sales or take the helm. Um, we have captain's hats aboard. So people love to take photos and post on social media. It's just a really fun way to spend the day. Great. Do we have a question? Yeah, we have a question from um, Ben Harrison. He says, what's the relationship between sale time and power time? And what is the difference between membership and ownership? Oh, good question. Um, the power time was just uh, officially released um, uh, probably at the Miami Boat Show in February that I was at. I actually went to the Miami Boat Show. And power time, we don't have a power time franchise here in San Francisco Bay. Um, but there are other ones. So like Chicago, Annapolis, San Diego, they all have power time bases. And we may grow into that, but we are not there yet. And the difference between being an owner member and a member is that the owner decides to put a boat into our program and operate their boat as a business. And that's the right relationship for um, people that plan on owning the boat in the future or want a tax uh, benefit from it or um, maybe you want to live aboard or do something like that with their boat. Membership is as easy as I want to join for one year and um, decide to join. So most, ev actually every one of our owners right now uh, was a member first before they decided to buy the boat and put it into the program. That is a great question. And if anybody's looking to purchase a boat as an owner and put in a sail time, they can work with a Tom Tuna Yachts and Lisa. Lisa will be a strong advocate and give us guidance and you as a new buyer on the benefits to you as well. Did that answer the full question, Ben? So Lisa, anything you wanted to add that we didn't touch upon was sale time? Well, the um, uh, sale time's a, a great way for people to sort of um, uh, get into boating without making big commitments. And I think that's, uh, I guess that's all I have to say about it. <laughs> I don't really know. Well, the thing I wanted to learn about um, in the pathways of boating is how did you ladies get into boating? And you know, where did you get to where you are now? I mean, here we are sitting, uh, three women in the marine industry. And I think that's just really cool. So what are your stories? Well, for me, I started in boating in middle school. My parents bought a sailboat, a Dufour. And so I learned how to sail with them, started racing on the beer can races and incidental with incidental Yacht Club. And so it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday races. And <sighs> Got back into it about in 2011. So I raced a variety of sizes of boats. 2011, got my captain's license, delivered boats up and down the coast for a few years, and then joined Atomic Tuna uh, the fall of this past year. Excellent, cool. Yeah, so I, I got into I boating well. in the early 90s, and the first boat I was on was the 50 foot custom. Um, trimaran that we were doing our sea trials on that we were going to live on. So I kind of jumped in both feet and found that it was just a passion I can't live without. I've owned a boat ever since, sometimes multiple, both power and sail. And um, I just think that there's nothing else like it. My brother was a pro surfer and he equates sailing and being on the water to the same motion and everything as surfing, which I could never really get into. So this seems like it's just in my blood. And from the very first time I was out, I was hooked. So getting into the charter business is just a natural for me because I love hosting parties. I love entertaining. I love the whole hospitality part of it and the customer service. Um, but I've been in every aspect of boating. I've delivered boats from San Diego to Seattle. I've chartered in the Caribbean 15 years straight, um, it's just in my blood. So it is nice to be here with three ladies um, in a typically male dominated field, but I think we are gaining ground quickly. 
And um, I, there's plenty of space for everyone. You don't have to be at the, at the helm. There's always a place for a galley winch um, but, <laughs> <laughs> or crew, which I'm excited to say a majority of our crew is female and you just didn't expect that. So it's, it's a way to find like-minded people, excuse me, people, and you have something instantly in common with them that's really, really fun. Yeah, and Allie, that's how I met you actually. It was, yeah. you were a crew on one of the boats and Allie just has this contagious personality as, as Aww, you know, handles thanks. all the catering, dock lines, co-captain. So it was really fun to work with you, Allie, and see you grow and have your own charter company. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So we've been talking a lot about Blue Mind and that there's a book that was written about how you feel better um, when you're out in the water. So one of the things for me personally is when I'm out at, could I have a stressful day at work, you're running around trying to tackle 100 things at the same time. And then I turned down Powell Street to where I live on a Grand Banks 442. And I look at this Golden Gate Bridge, I see the city's skyline and automatically everything slows down. My blood pressure comes down a little bit more relaxed. I enjoy looking at the sunset as I'm walking down the dock. And it's just nice interacting with the community as well. It's just everybody's open and friendly, sharing what they did or the next project on the boat or the next outing. So I encourage you to take a look at Blue Mind and how just being around the water, on the water, surfing, fishing, and how that can have such a positive impact on your life. At Lisa, can you expand on that? Um, I love paddle boarding. I love sailing. I live on a power boat. I um, like to, we jokingly call it happy 90 minutes instead of happy hour, because why limit yourself? <laughs> and so sitting on the bow of my power boat and watching the sunset every night is fantastic. Um, we can grill and entertain. Um, I love to anchor and um, feel like I'm away from it all, even though I might be at Clipper Cove. Um, I saw a bat ray that was probably uh, almost two feet swimming under me when I was paddleboarding last week. Um, I have um, uh, we call them our pet uh, night herons that come and swing on our dock lines. Um, I have a, a seven-year-old neighbor that I played Simon Says with the other night uh, <laughs> from her boat to my boat. That's great. It's a lovely community and I am also very water focused and love being out on the water. It definitely brings me relaxation and um, I love the um, uh, the um, nature feel. I'm much more of an outdoorsy person than I am a city person. So I love that feeling of it. Um, it's just the uh, sailors are um, uh, really wonderful people. There's just a, a, a kindred spirit that's there. And um, turning off the engine when I'm sailing, um, when you get out of the marina is probably one of my favorite points of the day. Um, and it's just a wonderful thing. So um, I love it when people say to my husband, like, how did you talk her into living on that boat? And he's like, no, no, it was all her. <laughs> I was <laughs> driving the bus on that one. And it's really, uh, it's a wonderful lifestyle. I absolutely love it. So um, I'm not really into gardening and I'm okay with that. So I'll never have to mow a lawn and that doesn't bother me whatsoever. So That's the best part about living on a boat is you look at the back 40 and there's no weeding, no gardening. No lawnmowers that you had to purchase. <laughs> so Love so we spent some time talking about with Lisa from Sail Time, Allie Hawkins from Baylights Charters, and there's other options to get on the bay as well. So we have Club Nautique, Boat Setter, Modern Sailing, different yacht clubs throughout the uh, bay. Uh, we can put some information on our website and how to join those and get in contact with those people. Ferries. Um, it's a great way for commuting across the bay. Um, once this COVID-19 stay at home uh, in, in places lifted, take advantage of those ferries versus sitting in the traffic. I know it's going to be hard for all of us to see those freeways congested again. So take a hop on a ferry, hop across the bay. 
Um, for those of you that are um, have the ability to take advantage of San Francisco prop to go to work, whether it's Facebook or Google, do that. Um, and then we have the home blower, horn blower for uh, corporate events, weddings, venues, similar to what Ali's doing with uh, Gaslight, but it's on a, on a larger scale. I have two more options. Okay. A lot of people will call me and if it's financially um, not in their budget to be able to either buy a boat or join sail time, there's the Alameda, Alameda Community Sailing Program as well as Cal Sailing Club in Berkeley. And they do a lot of volunteer work and they have small boat sailing and free days and all kinds of really great ways to learn, um, very little cost. So the one thing that I wanna make sure that everyone understands is sailing and boating doesn't necessarily have to be expensive. So there right, are- Right, that's a good point, programs. Lisa. And then we talked a little bit about the Alameda Community Center yesterday uh, with Michelle Lender, one of our salespeople. It's a great nonprofit organization right in the backyard. So I encourage you to take advantage of that as well as other people's boats. So <laughs> find a friend, family member. You can still social distance. We talked a little bit about that yesterday. So, it, and then if you have kayaks, paddle boards, surfing, just try and get out there, have a good time, relax and enjoy yourselves. And you can't forget the power boaters and the fishing charters too. Right, the fishing charters. Oh, yeah. There's they're, nothing they're not, like pulling up a fish and then having it for dinner. Right, and the fishing charters, they're not working right now, uh, but we have San Francisco, Berkeley, and Emeryville, where we have three major fishing uh, fleets to go out of in the Media Bay area. Yep. Great ideas, ladies. You know, and then you can talk about the different vacation options too. Once you're on a boat, you can go up to the Delta and swim in the fresh water or go out to the Farallons and see the seals and the whales. There's just so much that's accessible by a boat. Go out the gate, make a left. Next thing you know, you're in Santa Cruz or Monterey. There's just a whole world without having to get on a plane that's available to you once you get on the water. Right, and if you have your own back, or your own boat, you don't have to pack. That's so. true. You can go to China camp. You can go to China camp. China I had camp, some, right. I had some sail time members that went up to China camp the other night, and I uh, I talked to them across the dock at Emeryville the other day, and they brought an inflatable kayak, and they went hiking over the park and uh, barbecued and had a fantastic time. That's great. The doctor, which is kind of cool that he was able to uh, get away from it all in the middle of all of this. Right. It's a lot of different coves and things that take a take advantage of in our own backyard here in the bay and i think we have another question yeah we have a question what are the options at sail time for family career training oh sure great question um depending on how old the children are and how many of them are we do training on the boats with them um, usually the adults get certifications um, sometimes the children do depending on their age and if they feel comfortable with it we would never want to push too young of children to try to get certifications, but sometimes we can play it along with the tests with them and see if they like it. Um, we've done training with uh, two daughters and two parents. It was a wonderful story to me. They came to the boat show every year and they would look around and they were very timid and they learned about sail time and they realized they could do their lessons with their nine-year-old and their 13-year-old daughter. I think that's about their age. And the whole family learned to sail on the boat together. And they had been timid about buying a boat and they were sail time members for probably three years. And it was really interesting watching the little ones. She had a, she had, she was a baby engineer. She would look at something on the boat and she'd be like, what is that? And why is that doing that? And I understand this. And she could tie knots really well. They were, it was fantastic. It was absolutely heartwarming story to me to watch a family come to the boat show and not really feel comfortable buying a brand new boat but they felt comfortable joining sail time and now they own their own small boat. Mm -hmm. That's great, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. So we have prizes to give away. Allie, do you wanna, can you? Yeah, from time to time we do ticketed sales, at least one a quarter. So I'd love to give away uh, four tickets to one of our ticketed public sales. That'll include um, you and three of your friends to come out and go sailing with us. 
And, and could you say, what is that price? So they usually go about $125 per person, um, depending on the location of the pickup and if food and beverage is included. But um, most of the time, they're about $125 a person. So we want to give that prize to Lisa Green. Lisa Green, thank you for participating and joining with us today. And Lisa, could you introduce your, your prize? Sure, we're going to give away a three hour uh, uh, captain charter with me. My name is Lisa too, which is an anagram for sale, L-I-S-A and S-A-I-L. So uh, <laughs> we're going to do a three hour um, uh, captain charter. And the cool thing is, is that whoever wins gets to decide where they want to go. Do they want to um, anchor somewhere for lunch? Do they want to go under the Bay Bridge? Do they want to, um, you know, do some basic sailing lessons? Do they want to do a photo shoot? I mean, really, Whatever this person who wins um, tells me they want to do, we're in. That's great, thank you. So for the free sale, we want, we have Jim Lucier, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, that won a free sale with sale time. Thank you, Lisa. Congratulations, Jim. And so thank you for joining us, Lisa Chapin from sale time, Allie Hawkins from Bay Lights Charters. And right now we're gonna go to uh, Catalina 545 five video. So thank you.